Hello everyone. Now this is one Rosewood 2TB ST 2000 LM007 uh, real case study. This study is from the uh, DFA user from Indonesia. Now we can find out in this COM terminal. Now we can see this kind of messages keep coming out and at this time, we cannot enter the F3 tip prompt. Now we can also see the CG program has some problem. Now we can enter the, the program again. Because this arrow keeps coming and it will get the drive very busy. Now we can try to power off and power on. Now we need to okay. Now we can enter the F three T. Remember the time to use the control Z is very important. If users miss the time and then we can keep getting the error messages like this one. Now let's enter the program. Now we can see in the COM terminal this message keeps coming click OK, we can enter the program. If users enter the program, we can check the status register. It keeps busy. We can click Escape. So at this time, we can also find that error messages never stop. So at this situation, it's not possible to fix the firmware failure. The drive is busy and it's not possible to access the data error. Now, what to do to fix this firmware corruption? We can only power off and we can clear all. And Remember, at this time, we can use power on, and we found this, okay, we found this unlock handshake value. So at this time, we can click send unlock key, and at the same time, we must press Ctrl Z very fast. Okay, now we have enter. The F3T prompt. This one is very important. And we can switch to a higher baud rate and go back to the COM terminal. And because we have already backed up the SYS file. It's very snow. Okay, so here is the SOS folder. And we can find out the backup of Angelist within this folder. Since we have already the backup, so we can now work within the COM terminal. Now the team viewer gets stuck, 
so we need to wait a little bit We need to check the engine list. So engine list is LED. When we try to use engine list, it becomes LED. The drive gets dark again. So when the drive gets enters LED status, we cannot do anything. So at this time, we can power off. Power on. Send a lock key. Now we can try some commands like ready them busy. And next, we can try to view the engineist again. So this means the engineist has some problem. So we cannot view engineist. So we will try to check if we can uh, regenerate the translator again. So we can find out from SCOM terminal, it's not possible to view the engineist, but it's possible to regenerate the translator. So after the translator regeneration, we can check if the drive gets normal. Now we need to wait a little bit because the engineist has some problem, maybe it's corrupted. Sometimes after the transmitter regeneration, the engineer's the LED issue can be fixed. Anyway, before doing everything, we need to back up all the important firmware modules or SWAS files. We can wait to check the result for this translator regeneration. Translator regeneration completes, and we can try 
to check, we can see we lose the three T prompt again. This message comes out again. After translator regeneration, we can try to power off and then power on. Send an key. Now we can see after translator regeneration, we can easy to get F3T prompt. And we can try to check the media catch. We can check the data arrow directly. 38. So it's very close to the ending RBA, this one. We can click OK, click Start. So the ending part of the data arrow is not accessible. We can check the front part. Clear the scan record. So now it's the partial sector access problem. So at this time, we need to enter the F3T prompt and we go to change to a higher baud rate and we select this one this is the most stable baud rate to work with and we select SA operations edit 35 Three, and we can write by SOS mode. We need to note the original thirty-five. After that, we can write so. The writing, it seems writing failed. We can write in by ATA. So engine is to write by SOS mode and AT mode. So we need to switch between these two modes. Now in the log window, it shows writing success. So at this time, we can go to the COM terminal. And before zero, we can see four entries. See, right now we can see that the engineist view is working normally now. It not, it will not enter the LED status. So it's different. This is original entry number, so it's four entry. So right now we can clear the V4 and then we can regenerate the translator again to fix the partial sector access problem.
So usually after this time translator regeneration, the partial sector access issue will be fixed and then we have recovered the whole drive's data. So all we need to do now is to wait until this processing completes. So from the, the operations above, we can learn backup is very important before doing any operations within the firmware arrow. And also, before executing any commands within the COM terminal. So backup always. Okay, so we can try to view the engine is still four inches. This means the translator regeneration is okay now. So we can try to view the ending part. LBA. Click OK. Click Start. See now the full drive is accessible. This means the drive has been fixed perfectly and users can get 100% data back. 